by the way, if we have got the uh, if we have got records, because obviously you know that we've uh, just come off a weekend, then uh, we'll have them at the end. If not, then uh, roll on Thursday. Second game is Roma versus Monza. I got involved in this about half an hour after Monza played at the weekend. Roma <laughs> minus six fifty, Monza plus fifteen hundred. Handicap is at two and a half and plus one ten for Roma. Uh, it's just unbelievable. Team total, Roma to score three times, plus 105. Mina, you can go first, and you can put as so, many pins in my balloon as you like. So real quick, this is actually a typo. It's actually plus a uh, minus one and a half, minus 110. That's what it is on BetUS. Okay, excellent. So it's minus ah. one and a half. Minus one and a half. Even better. Even better. Plus one we and a half that. is uh, plus 110. Okay, we love so that. we were having this discussion um, before the show started, because obviously, like I like to ride a wave, and I feel like Monza are just in a in, in, like capitulating day by day, and obviously it's starting to get really bad. And they're not they're choosing not to sack Stroppa, their coach at the moment, and show him faith because of what he managed last season. Personally, I would, but I also think that he's been loaded with a team that's is really hard to integrate at the moment because there's just so many new individuals. But having said all of that, I don't think Roma are very good. I, I keep reading that they're really good. I keep reading that they managed to come back and all of this. But what I'm watching with my own eyes in the first half against, first half against Juventus, I thought they were terrible. Um, and Mourinho came out and said he was ashamed of his players. I don't see very many goals in them. I think they've lost something in Mkhitaryan. Tammy Abraham is reliant on what Pellegrini and Dybala do. And they don't do enough. There are a lot of just crazy beauty on the ball but no end product so for me this is a one two nil maximum i don't see monza scoring but i i honestly don't see roma thrashing them either and i know that you do flash i do i do i'm gonna i'm gonna stay i'm gonna argue with matty rather than argue with you so matty can you confirm that it's minus one and a half but what is the price it's minus 130 so the numbers are just flipped so it's minus Excellent. 130 for that and then plus one and a half is plus 110 so I, I, the interesting numbers for this game are actually for Monza. Uh, the over two and a half is actually nine and zero oh in their last nine games. So that kind of leads me to like this over three a little bit. I think they could get a goal. Um, I think they looked much better last week than they had before. Um, I think they could have beaten Udinese. Obviously they didn't, but I, th I think they could have, could have scored twice in that game. Um, twice. I, I do. I think they should have had two goals in that game. They missed an easy sitter at the right before halftime, and it should have been two one at halftime. Yeah, um, you're right about that. Yeah. So I I actually would be tempted here to go for the alt line on Monza and take plus two, which is minus one fifty or minus one sixty. Um, I don't think Roma are beating anybody right now by more than two goals. Mm. Um, I I agree. Roma definitely should win this game. Um, they should probably score twice. Will they score three times? I would say probably not. Um, but this is probably the heaviest favorite we've seen outside of Inter all season so far. So this is a big, a big money line for Monza. I mean, there's that's really just means they have absolutely no chance according to the books. Um, so I don't know. I, I think Roma should win this game, but if you can get Monza plus two at a reasonable price, I would not mind taking that. And I do like over three in this game. I, I think this is probably going to be like. Probably 2-1 no or 3-1. We'll see what happens. No uh, I'm Roma all the way. Uh, I think Roma, listen, I, I got out my pram the other day and thought Roma might score five here. There is so lopsided. Monza disjointed at the back. Do not pick up anybody. Really, really struggled against any type of pace coming from midfield. Um, I've got, I've got me three different bets here, and just hear me out because I've actually, I've got to, uh, I've got to read these. So I've got Roma half time, full time. At minus 120. I've gone Roma minus one. I think they be easy win the game by two at minus 130. And I've got Roma to score three at team total over two and a half at plus 105. Um, I just see Roma winning this game so comfortably. Flat track bullies. And I just do not like Monza. I think that they are all over the shop. Um, really struggled the other day. In fact, we was all on Udinese, I think, in the end. I think um, Matty and I were talking during the game. I think we bet Udinese like three times. Yeah. Double chance. Flash was hitting them all game. That was a good win for you, Flash. And I, I was like, double chance. I gave them... I picked this 
came first. <laughs> yes, yes, you did pick them first. You're right. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did, and you got the best number because straight up you got like plus one fifty. It was yeah. like plus one thirty on kickoff, and then I took, okay. and then I took. Uh, I think it was like minus one ten, minus half a goal or something. Or something crazy like that. And then during the game, when they went 1-0 down, I bet them double chance as well. And then they come back and won. And I had the over two and a half in the game. So, yeah, I, I yeah, Udinese you against Monza money. was just taking candy off a baby. But I think Roma score five here. Yeah. Anyone wants to – but I'm happy with 3 nil. Happy with 3-1. Fade Monza, says I'm Armando. I'm tempted to go under two and a half at minus 135. But I like my plus numbers, so it doesn't appeal to me that it's minus. No, yeah, it's Roma all the way. I've got, I've got here Roma score four or five, and that means Monza have to score two. And still, I, I, I may pick up. So let's have a little look at the official picks because I know I am the only one. And it's game two, and we have got eight games to uh, to cover. So here we go. Roma, half-time, full-time, minus 120. Spin it, producer. Um, boom, 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 boom. Next one. Roma, minus 1.5 at minus 130. Spin it, producer. Roma, team total, over two and a half at plus 105. So as long as we get three, I think I'm absolutely home and hosed. A nice 2-0 at halftime will do me. 